52 years ago, one of the fiercest battles in the Vietnam War took place with a reinforced Viet Cong regiment attacked a compound adjacent to American Special Forces team. Today, you will be witnessing a reenactment of some of those events by members of Naval Construction Battalion Center, including members of NMCB-11, the same unit that CB Team 1104 and CMA-3 Marvin G. Shields were members of. As a brief orientation, you'll notice that behind me is a replica camp signifying the compound at Dong Hoi, Republic of Vietnam, that the event of today's reenactment are based on. The portrayal of CMA-3 Shields is being played by Chief Select Garrett. You'll notice during the reenactment that he is dressed differently than the other members. He's wearing a white t-shirt and OD green boonie cover. On June 5, 1965, the first of two minor small arms engagements took place between American and Viet Cong forces, including a brief mortar attack on the camp where both American and South Vietnamese forces were working. On June 7, 1965, the second of two engagements took place which resulted in increased mortar attacks and more accurate enemy fire. Shortly before midnight on June 9, 1965, CB Team 1104 was abruptly awoken at Dong Hoi by the sound of incoming mortars and 57 millimeter recoilless rifle rounds as a Viet Cong force later estimated to be of a reinforced regimental size consisting of 1,500 to 2,000 Viet Cong. During the course of battle, there were numerous acts of valor reported by those who were there. No member of CB Team 1104 distinguished himself more than CMA-3 Marvin G. Shields. At one point during the battle, an enemy machine gun emplacement was endangering the lives of all personnel in the camp due to its accuracy of fire. When the commander, 2nd Lieutenant Charles Williams, asked for a volunteer to accompany him in an attempt to knock out the enemy machine gun, Shields, despite being wounded on two previous occasions, unhesitatingly volunteered for this extremely hazardous mission. Leaving the protection of the camp, they proceeded toward their objective with a 3.5-inch rocket launcher. While traversing an open terrain and exposing themselves to enemy fire, they took aim at the Viet Cong machine gun approximately 150 meters away. Although the siding mechanism was faulty on the rocket launcher, they succeeded in destroying the machine gun emplacement, thus undoubtedly saving the lives of many of their ser uh, fellow service members in the camp. Petty Officer Shields was mortally wounded while returning to his defensive position and died shortly after being evacuated from Dong Hoi via helicopter on the afternoon of June 10. Although facing unsurmountable odds, the Americans and South Vietnamese forces successfully held off the attacking Viet Cong throughout the night and following morning. The final count of casualties of the original 20 American forces was 3 KIA and 16 wounded. A total of 12 other Americans were listed as dead or missing during the two-day battle. The Vietnamese forces suffered 46 wounded and 300 dead or missing. The Viet Cong losses were estimated at more than 700. Today we are here to reenact Marvin Shields' brave actions and remember him for his courage and sacrifice for his country, his fellow man, and most of all, the Seabees. His willingness to face adversity is the model for all Seabees to follow.